Hi, I'm Pete with the Purple Foot Club, Minnesota, and today I'm going to talk to you about the importance of knowing where your bricks are before you uh, start doing anything with your wines. A lot of times our bricks come in perfect, we don't have to do anything, but sometimes they're low, sometimes they're high. Well, there's a couple different instruments we can use to find out what it is. One is a refractometer, and basically you just take and put a little drop of your wine on top of here, and flip it down, and you look into the light, and it'll tell you how many bricks are left. And what some of the newer ones will even have a specific gravity on the right hand side so you know where you're at with that. And that's always going to be important because you want to go from high to low when you end up with about a .99 when you're finished. If you don't have one of these fancy little things, and by the way these are only like 20 bucks, they're a perfect little investment. One thing to keep in mind with a refractometer, it's really something you want to use in the beginning stages uh, because when you get down to about that 1.04 or like 10 brick, uh, the refractometer isn't near as accurate anymore. So that's where we rely on this till we get to our 0.99. So with our hydrometer, we'll look at the percentage of alcohol that we're looking for and the next one over will be our specific gravity. What we do is we just fill up a little thing with, with wine and what that does is it tells us where our balling is. Okay, there's a number of different readings on a hydrometer and the one we're looking for is balling because that's the same as brick. And if we, let's say for example we want to know uh, where a 13.5% alcohol is, we go down to maybe 1.02, we go across and there it tells us that that's 13% alcohol. We can add a little bit of water if we're too hot. We do that before we start fermenting and it doesn't affect the wine at all. We do it afterwards, now it's gonna feel, uh, you're gonna have a feel that the, the wine is watered down a little bit. We don't want that. If it's a little bit low, let's say it's at 23, 20, 22, then we can always take a little bit of sugar, and we can add it to the wine, add it to the must, stir it up, and then recheck it again. One of the most important things I think is to continually measure where you're at. Uh, one of the nice things to, to, uh, with, a, with a red is the color changes from shiny to dull. That's an indication that your bricks are getting lower. With your whites and your juices, it's another thing where you, you see nothing change except for maybe the fermented, fermentation is slowing down. That's where you really rely on this thing so that you know exactly where you're at at all times. And when you get down to that one, and maybe zero, then you know it's time to let it settle out, maybe put it in a cooler area and let uh, all the garbage settle to the bottom where you siphon off the top stuff for your carboy.